Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel CS Pictorial. This video is about the canonical and standard forms of Boolean expressions. Many important topics related to Boolean algebra are explained in our previous videos. Kindly check the links given in the description. First, let us go with the basic definition of a Boolean expression. A Boolean expression is a logical statement that can either be true or false. Some simple examples of Boolean expressions are given here. We will now understand the difference between the various representations of Boolean expressions. Basically, every Boolean expression can be represented in two forms, either SOP form or POS form. The Boolean expression given as SOP can either be in its canonical form or in its standard form. Similarly, the Boolean expression given as POS can either be in its canonical form or standard POS form. In this video, we will try to understand how to identify each of these representations and also simple conversion between these representations. Kindly watch this video until the end. SOP stands for sum of products or sum of min terms. For example, this is a Boolean expression. What you could understand at just the first view itself is that the expression is summing up or adding up a few product terms. So, each term A dot B is a product term or a min term. A dot B bar dot C is another product term or a min term. Similarly, b dot c bar is another product term or min term. This expression is finally adding up or summing up all the product terms as the name tells you sum of products. Let us consider a truth table with two input variables a and b. The truth table representation for min terms will be m0, m1, m2, m3, etc. depending on the number of input variables. Now to derive the min term, always remember for SOP, if the value of the input variable is 0, the min term will have the complement of the variable or the literal. If the value of the input variable is 1, the min term will have the literal as such. This is how we derive the min terms a bar, b bar, a bar, b, a, b bar and a, b. Let us now try to write an SOP expression for a given truth table with output f. Pick out the truth table entry for which the output value is 1. Write the corresponding min term. Here, a is 0, b is 0 and c is 1. So, the min term is a bar, b bar, c. Similarly, the next min term is written as a, b bar, c bar. Remember, if the value of the variable is 1, write the literal as such. If the value of the variable is 0, write the complement of the literal in its min term. Similarly, we get a, b, c bar and a, b, c. Finally, we derive the SOP expression by summing up all the min terms. We get the SOP expression as f equal to a bar b bar c plus a b bar c bar plus a b c bar plus a b c. One more way to express an SOP expression is to write the corresponding min term representations for which the output value is 1. Here, f is equal to m1 plus m4 plus m6 plus m7. It can also be written as f equal to summation m of 1, 4, 6, 7. As we are now familiar about SOP expression, we will try to understand the difference between the two forms of SOP, the canonical form and standard SOP form. Here are two sum of products expressions. I say that the first expression is a canonical SOP. It's because in the first expression, each product term contains all the literals involved, either the literal as such or its complement. In this example, three literals are involved, A, B and C. And each product term has all the three literals. So this expression is a canonical SOP. When this expression is simplified using Boolean laws, we get the standard SOP. We will get it much more clear. This SOP expression is said to be a standard SOP because each product term need not contain all the literals in a standard form. This term AB doesn't include C. Similarly, A is missing in this product term and B is missing here. 
So, standard SOP can also be called as minimal SOP or simplified form of canonical SOP. Here a few example expressions are given. Let us find whether it is a standard SOP or canonical SOP. Always remember, if each product term has all the literals, it is canonical SOP. Simplified expression is the standard SOP. In the first expression, A plus B, C. Total literals involved in this expression are A, B and C. But the first term A misses B and C. The second min term B, C misses the literal A. So, we could conclude that this expression is a simplified standard SOP. The second example expression is also standard SOP. In this expression, AB plus AB bar plus A bar B, the total literals involved in the whole expression are just A and B. And since each product term includes both A and B, it is a canonical form of SOP. Again, the expression ABC bar plus A bar BC is also a canonical SOP. Here, each product term includes all the literals involved A, B and C. Now, we are clear that a canonical SOP expression can be simplified using Boolean laws to obtain a simplified standard or non-canonical SOP expression. But the question arises, how to make the conversion vice versa? That is, how to generate a canonical SOP form from the given standard SOP? We will try to understand the step-by-step -step procedure with an example. This is a standard SOP expression. As you all know, in a standard SOP expression, each product term need not contain all the literals. So, first to find the total number of variables involved in the expression. Here in this expression, three variables A, B and C are involved. Now, find the variables absent in each term. Here, in the first product term, variable C is missing. In the second product term, variable A is missing. And in the third product term, variable B is missing. Now, multiply each product term by the sum of its missing variable and its complement. The expression is written as AB into C plus C bar plus A plus A bar into BC plus A into B plus B bar into C. Combine all the terms in the next step. It becomes ABC plus ABC bar plus ABC plus A bar B C plus A B C plus A B bar C. Make repeating terms appear only once. Finally, the expression becomes A B C plus A B C bar plus A bar B C plus A B bar C, which is the final canonical SOP expression. Okay, then it's done for today. Hope this video would have been useful. We'll come up with the canonical and standard forms of POS expression in our next video. Kindly follow our channel for more informative computer tutorials. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Hit the bell icon for sure. Thank you for watching.